there is a tool that we are going to need to use that is going to allow us to do some other types of attacks. That is Aero Dump. And Aero Dump gives us the ability to capture wireless frames. Let's just take a look at the help here from Aero Dump. So I'm gonna use Aero Dump NG. I need to specify an interface that I'm going to use. So I could save initialization vectors, which would be dash dash IVS. I can write a dump file, and the dump file is going to help us out with some additional types of attacks. For example, a fake authentication attack I would use the dump file for. I could record all beacons. I can do show update, show ACK. I can look at the manufacturer for the particular BSSIDs or the MAC addresses. And then of course I can also filter by BSSID or ESSID. I can also force it to only listen on one particular channel. So let's just take a look at Aero Dump here. I'm going to run Aero Dump NG, and I'm going to actually write an output file, and I'm going to say channel is six because that's the channel that I am actually using on the access point that I've got right here. And then I want to use WLAN zero mon, and that's the monitor mode that we have set on WLAN zero. And I wanna make sure that I'm getting it in monitor mode so that I get all of the radio traffic and not just the traffic that's above the radio, that's kind of the ethernet and above traffic. So I'm gonna do WLAN zero mon. You can see immediately I am starting to grab frames out of the air. And you can see that we've got output that looks very similar to some of the other tools that we have used. In this case though, I'm actually grabbing them and you can see actually the beacon count being captured as this is sitting here running for the different SSIDs. Now, you can also see I've got a number of different BSSIDs that are on this particular SSID, and these are all open authentication, and this is Xfinity Wi-Fi, this is Comcast. Everybody can connect if you've got a Comcast account thing, and you can see that there are a number of different BSSIDs that are associated with this particular ESSID. So I think we've captured quite a number of frames here, and I'm just going to kill that. And you can see all of the output that we've got that's been generated for us. So we've got some capture files, we've got some comma separated value files, We've got some Kismet related output as well. So we can use these with some of the other tools in order to perform some additional attacks later on.